Lesson 21, Multiplying Fractions. The directions say, simplify first as much as possible, then multiply. We have two parts. Part A is simplifying fractions, and part B is multiplying fractions. We'll do one example from part A, and three examples from part B. Here in part A, let's simplify 3 ninths. So we can divide by 3 and divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And our answer is 1 third. Let's look at our first example from part B. Here we have 1 half times 1 third. Let's see if we can simplify anything first. 1 half and 1 third are already simplified. We can't simplify 1 and 3 or the 1 and 2 here. So let's just go ahead and multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Write it down and box your final answer of 1 sixth. Let's look at our next example. We can't simplify 8 fifteenths or 6 sevenths. Can we simplify the 8 and 7? No. How about 6 and 15? Yes, because we can divide both of them by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. And this gives us 2 and 5. Now let's multiply. 8 times 2 is 16. 5 times 7 is 35. Write it down and box your final answer of 16 35ths. Finally, let's look at our last example from part B. Here we have 3 fourteenths times 7 ninths. And let's see what we can simplify. We can simplify the 3 and the 9. So divide by 3 and divide by 3. You get 1 and 3. We can also simplify the 7 and 14. Divide by 7, divide by 7. We have 1 and 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 3 equals 6. Write it down and box your final answer of 1 sixth. If we didn't simplify first, we'd end up with larger numbers that are harder to work with. Look at the example that we just completed. Here's 3 fourteenths times 7 ninths. And if we multiplied first, we'd end up with 21 1 26ths. Then we'd have to figure out how to simplify this to end up with our answer of 1 sixth. But these numbers are much more difficult to work with, and that's why instead of simplifying last, we should simplify first to keep the numbers that we're working with nice and small and easy to work with.